What is up, guys? Welcome back to Leslie Jarrell's Tarot. This reading here is for my Aquarius Zodiac sign. We're just going to dive in with the Psychic Tarot for the Heart deck and get the overall energy. Okay, clarify the energy of Aquarius. Zodiac sign, please. Clarify the energy of Aquarius. Thank you. Bottom of the deck is Opportunity Beckons. We have Dedicated Effort. Okay, putting your time and energy into something, watching it pay off. And we have the heart chakra, okay? This could be overly balanced, under underbalance, or this could have something to do with the heart, okay? Emotional connection here. Now, guys, just remember this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. And energies are fluid and interchangeable, so they can cross. And if you need to, please flip them. Let's go ahead and dive in. Clarify for the energy of dedicated effort for Aquarius. Whoa. Three of Swords is here. Okay, clarify the energy of dedicated effort for Aquarius, please. We have the hangman. Okay, let's do one more. Clarify the dedicated effort energy. Seven of Swords. Okay, the bottom of the deck is Page of Wands. So some type of message is coming in here. A good message, something that has a lot to do with um, somebody's manifesting something here. Good news, okay, Page of Wands represents good news. Page of Wands represents uh, passion, fire, okay. Someone that uh, could be younger, okay, could be a younger energy as well coming in. Not necessarily the person being younger than you, just a younger energy here. But someone's manifesting something and they're kind of stuck in their head about it or they feel like they're in this uh, sunken place energy here. So let's see here. Now, the dedicated effort, I have the Three of Swords, the Hangman, and the Seven of Swords. Somebody's heartbroken, or somebody was heartbroken here, okay, or went through some type of heartache, went through some type of sadness. Whatever it was, it was very painful. And this, it's, it's like the energy with the Hangman is that you've really been kind of stuck or like in a position where you've had to do a lot of thinking, okay, and I feel like it had a lot to do with some type of sneakiness or deceptiveness that happened here. It could have been in the relationship or it could, could have been the reason why it hurt you. Okay, this three of swords energy could have been the reason why you felt like your heart was broken in the first place. I feel like whatever this was, you put a lot of time and energy into it, whether if, if it was a relationship you put a lot of time and energy into it, but it just didn't work out. And you might have been thinking about it a lot, trying to figure out why didn't it quite work. Right? Kind of going over things like, well, what did I do wrong? You know, well, where did it go wrong? If it's business, you know, what, what decision did I make that was completely wrong? How could I have done better? Was there someone that was doing something sneaky or, you know, how did I not catch this? That's the energy I'm getting. But let's see. Let's clarify the heart chakra here for Aquarius. Clarify the heart chakra. The Knight of Cups. So there's definitely a love offering coming in here. Or someone coming forward confessing love to you. Look at there. Ace of Cups. And this person's wanting to come in with a very committed type of energy. We also have the Three of Wands and the Five of Cups. Okay. This person could have been, uh, it could actually be a past person here. Or it could be two love offerings, actually. But I feel like this here, the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups, this person's coming in, they could have told you, hey, you know, I'm in love with you, I care about you, I want to work something out with you. And they, they want something serious. This isn't someone that's like BSing with you. This is someone that wants something serious, okay? Or if this is you going out there confessing your love for someone or taking action and uh, going towards someone and letting them know how you feel, you're wanting something very serious, committed, okay? Ace of Cups, overflowing abundance, okay? Overflowing emotions here. The Three of Wands and the Five of Cups. This could have been someone that you've been waiting on. So it could have be some. It could actually be someone from the past, okay? Doesn't have to be, but it could be someone from the past that you've been kind of waiting on or kind of just um, watching. Uh, watching do their thing or they've been watching you with the three of wands seeing what you've been up to 
with the five of cups here i do see you kind of looking back maybe over memories i'm getting memories of this person that's the word they're giving me is memories you could be looking back over things that you did with this person here we have the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck oh uh, yeah the moon card and then the temperance so someone's definitely been going through some healing here from a lot of disappointment okay i don't feel like this person was like a someone that you had only been with like a couple of days or a couple of weeks like this is a person that you had really given a lot of time and energy to with the ten of swords because they had enough time to do a lot of you know bs to you a lot of pain was inflicted here on this connection but i feel like you're kind of at the end of it like you've been secretly doing a lot of healing I don't feel like you've been really telling a lot of people here with the tempers and the moon. Okay, you could have been keeping this to yourself, not really sharing this with everyone. But I do feel that you're at the end of this, like you're finally at the end of the tunnel where you can see a new beginning here with the Ace of Swords. I'm sorry, the Ace of Wands and the Death card. There's a new beginning. So let's pull a couple of Love Oracle or Romance cards here. See what we can come up with here. All right, clarify the energy of Aquarius as far as love, relationships, feelings, and emotions. So we have the engagement card. Okay, so your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So you could be, um, you could have been engaged to this person, or this person's coming in to be engaged to you. Like they're ready to propose to you and let you know that they care about you. Again, the Knight of Cups is them rushing in, and then the Ace of Cups, committed relationship. Okay, it's a brand new beginning though here. So if it is someone from the past, they're definitely coming off as a brand new energy. We have you deserve love. You are lovable. Okay, you may feel like you don't deserve it, or you may feel like. You know, all this bad that has happened to me, you know, will I ever find it? Yes, you deserve it. It's going to come into you. We have the retreat card, so it's time to disconnect from the world. I feel like you've done that. With that temperance being there, you might not have let a lot of people know. But I feel like you have really went through a lot of healing. And you've dealt with a lot emotionally. And you've really taken care of yourself. And now that you've done that, the universe sees it. And they're, they're saying that your heart is ready now with this heart chakra. You've... It's like you've patched your heart. You've wounded your heart. You found a way to balance it even after all the stuff that you've been through. It's it's like them saying now, now you're ready to receive love. Any other messages for Aquarius as far as love, relationships, feelings, and emotions? There's the sending card again. This says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. That's the engagement card. And then we have the ascending card here that's coming out for you. And it says transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. See, you're preparing. It's like you're, you've been preparing this whole entire time and you might not have even realized it. But you, you've been preparing yourself this entire time for a real serious commitment here. Okay, and that's why it's coming in. Any other messages for Aquarius? Any other messages? The Phoenix, look at you, rising from the ashes. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change, mind. The Phoenix. You might have kind of warded off love for quite some time here, but this person, when they come in, if they have not already, they're really going to awaken some things in your heart that you didn't think were, um, were able to be awakened, okay? Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make new memories. This is why I was getting the energy of a past lover possibly coming back in for some of you. I don't want to say all of you, but for some of you. This person has been, um, I feel like, reminiscing again, reminiscing about you. The Five of Cups being here, you could be reminiscing about them. Looking at the past, feeling kind of regretful. You have girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. This is what you've been doing. I feel like this is what that person's been doing as well. Just really enjoying themselves, enjoying the single life, you know. Any other messages for Aquarius? And then we have the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. 
So there could have been an ending to a relationship that you felt like there was no coming back from. Like this person, it was an end all, nothing, nothing will ever come back, okay? It could have been due to this Seven of Swords energy where it was like, you know, that ish, they did this to me. I will never, ever, 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 ever accept them again. However, so for some of you, a past energy is coming back. It doesn't have to be that person that did that to you, that did the Seven of Swords energy to you. This could be a past person, any past person that you've dealt with before. But I feel like you've been, it's like the energy I'm getting is you kind of look back over your relationships and you just think, you know, what did I did what did I do wrong you know I remember when this happened I was really really happy you know then it's like that's the type of energy I'm getting but I feel like somebody has really been waiting for you to get here with this three of wands like somebody's been waiting for the perfect opportunity to come in and offer you this love like they've been sitting back waiting patiently like just patiently waiting I feel like this could actually be a friend that you've talked to with the girl talk here, okay? Don't be surprised if this is a friend that's been watching you or or has been there for you, you know, kind of like boosting you up, letting you know, yeah, you know. It could be like, you know, it doesn't have to be like a friends with benefits. It could just be a friend, someone that's been there for you. And they're taking this opportunity to come forward because they realize that you really have healed. And they want to give it a shot. Like they want this opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So it could be that as well. Let's see. Let's end you off. Any other. Whoa. Those wanted to come out. Look at there. We have answers. Okay. So whoever this is. They're about to come forward here. Okay. You're about to receive those answers. Um, like whoever it is. That's secretly been watching you. And waiting patiently. All right. They're about to tell you everything. I don't feel like they're going to hide anything. They're going to let you know, like, yeah, you know, I've been waiting for you to um, be available again. You know, really believe that you deserve love. And now that we're here, you know, I, I just want you to know I want to be with you. That's the energy I'm getting. We have empowerment. Look, see? This person could have been, like, again, I'm feeling like the energy of a friend. Like, someone trying to, you know, give you the shoulder to cry on. Give you the... The pep talks and things like that. They've been there. they have That's the energy I'm feeling. Like they've witnessed. Wow. Dreams on the bottom. They've witnessed you going through this phase here. You going through this transformation and this ascension here. And then even with this dreams card on the bottom of the deck. They could have been dreaming about you. You could be dreaming about them. Okay. We have the home card here. They could be someone you hang out with a lot in your home. Or someone that makes you feel like you're with family when you're around them. Or like you feel very happy with them being around. Like it's like one of those comfortable type of energy. So, But I do see this person coming forward. So you definitely have love coming in here. A stable love. Something that's going to be very committed. Very grounded. something A very successful relationship for you. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is your reading, Aquarius. I hope that this gives you some insight and some clarity. Uh, make sure you smash the like button down below if you enjoyed this reading. And feel free to subscribe if you're absolutely new to my channel. I would definitely love to have you here. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.